Hello and welcome to this channel. Now I'm going to carry on building a blackjack simulator and you can use this to see your chances of winning at the casino. Okay, so now I'm going to add a method called add card. So we're going to need some parameters, we're going to need the cards, and we're going to need something called dealer card. Because as you can see, we need to know the dealer card to see which hand we're going to play. Okay? So I'm going to start it with a D, what's it called, deconstructor, and you know what, this is a new JavaScript feature, and I must say it's one of my favorite new features. So we need to get the my card out, and it's going to be equal to this. So this my card here, this is telling us to get it out and put it in here, and it's going to put a reference to it. So when we alter it in here, it will alter it here. Got a ray, this certain ray and erase our reference objects. So when we alter it here, it will alter it here. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use first. Now I'm going to have to set up a loop. I wish I had some kind of intelligence to set up a loop. Not I less than Cards length i plus plus, and then we'll do let item equal cards i. Okay, so we're ready to do something now. So the first thing we have to do is um. Yeah, that's still here. Each one of these objects, some of them will have a property on them called cards, and some haven't. In fact, all of them haven't. So what I have to do is, I've got to check if it's got a property, and if it hasn't got a property, then I'm going to add one. Because obviously, yeah. the card's being dealt. Yeah. So that means, for instance, if I if I said deal card, and I added an array like this. I might put three, four, seven. That means all of them objects are empty. So I've got to, I've got to add a property on here called cards. And I've got to set it to empty. And then once I've done that, I could push a card onto here like that. Okay. On this empty object, you can't. You have to check if there's a. You have to check if it's there, or you can just create it. But when you just check if it's there, um, in fact, you can't just create it because if you just create it, you can override what's already there. So you have to. So the best thing is to do. You have to just check what's there. Okay. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use underscore. Underscore has got method core has. And it checks if a property is if an uh, object has got a property. And I'm checking my card. I'm checking I and the property I'm checking for is cards. If that equals to false. Then what I want to do is I want to I want to add the property. Okay, so I'll do that equals, and then I can push something into it after I do that. Okay, so if the property doesn't exist, I will create it. Okay? If it does exist, I won't do anything. 
So at this point, what I want to do is that item that's passed in, I want to check if it's equal to zero. And if it's equal to zero, I want to, I want to continue. So what that means is, if it's equal to zero, it will not get past this line here. It won't get past there. So what that in effect will do is it will sort of skip that card. It will add the property and not do anything. Or if the if it already had two cards on it, when it comes to zero, it will say okay. You don't want to, you want to, it's as if you're saying stick. So in computer terms, it's just equivalent to giving a person a card of zero. Okay, that just makes it easier to work it out, okay? So that's what that's for. If the card has got, um, has got a proper number, then we can do cards dot push item okay and then let's come out that's the end of the loop I'm gonna add more to this but I'm just gonna in fact I'll probably won't but anyway so that will add the card that will create the card property now what I want to do is that part is going to be responsible for that. So that, and I'm, I'm going to make some other part responsible for the other part. So okay then. So I'm going to make a new function called this dot populate cards. You notice that I didn't use the to the card, but I'm going to use it in here, and that is going to be responsible for mapping. The start of mapping that to that. Okay? That just populates the cards with whatever they are. This is going to be partly responsible for matching it to the other thing. Okay, so I'm going to create this function. And. Uh, Create it here. And I'm not going to do nothing to it yet, but what I'm going to do is I need to put a test for this. We've just done this. So we now need to do some testing. Okay. So I'm going to create something under here called. Test player. What happened then? Something called test player. in the game the first set of cards you'd add would be a single I may with one yeah. figure in so I'm gonna change that to 11 10 and say 5 and then I'm gonna console log let's just put a time let's just scroll it And then call it p dot my. I just want to see what's in my card. See that's yellow, so I know something wrong. There you go. 
Okay. So all I have to do is add this to the tests. And then when I run it, I should see that it's added some cards. Let me just widen that bit. Okay, and that seems to be working. I've added three separate hands, so what it is, you can see how it works now. It adds the 10, the 11, and 6 as the first card. And then this, so that's the first card. And that's the second card. So, you can see why he's doing it now. But in a normal game, you would do something more like this. I'm just demonstrating something here now. Okay, and the only time you'd use the only time you'd have the only time you'd have this is if they got split. Okay. So I'm gonna end the video here, and in the next video I will start on these popular cards. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, bye.